All right, guys, welcome to Arnold's Thoughts Podcast. This is your boy, Arnold. And I just wanted to introduce myself, man. I'm a professional basketball player. I've been playing for the last eight years. And I just decided to come and start my journey podcasting. I've had a lot of adventures in my life that has led me to great things. And I've learned a lot during that road that I want to share with you guys. If you guys are willing to join me in this journey, you know, we're, we're in this journey to constantly improve ourselves. I believe that um, my, this podcast is just a way for me to express myself. I, I've played for seven, eight, no, eight years. In eight years of my of my career, I've won seven championships. Um, I recently just came off a championship in Chile and this past summer. So I played the game that I've loved at a high level for quite a bit of time and I feel like I'm just getting started. And during my time playing, I've been able to cultivate a certain type of mindset that's helped me to get to this level. And that's what I want to just share with you guys. You know, I, I have a, I wouldn't say a demographic, but the type of people those athletes out there who are willing to go overseas to pursue their career. There's a lot about life that we have to understand, and there's a lot about the type of mindset that we must have, not to just go over to be able to survive in another country, but to be able to live and thrive and put your mark on that country wherever you go. You, you never want to just go for no reason. You want to go to leave your mark because we're all special in our own way. And we're just here to leave our mark on this world. So uh, through my experiences, I just want to, you know, provide hope, provide uh, just a little bit of a push to get you to whatever you want in life. Because we all are struggling um, in some aspect. We all get those moments where we're just down and out. And we just need something to get us going. We just need to hear one word one little phrase, anything to just help us get to the next level or help us make the decisions that we want just to be happy in life. And that's pretty much what I'm here to provide or what I'm here to encourage is just a word of of help. Now, I am an athlete. I am an athlete for almost two, 27 years of my life. I've been an athlete. And... I just want to educate the, the a lot of athletes, especially the a lot of um, basketball players, the the women and men that are coming up, the young kids. You know, they see the li- the lights, they see the glitz, they see the glamour, but they really don't know what goes on behind the scenes. They really don't know what goes on in the actual life of being a professional athlete, living in these countries where. You don't know no language. You don't lo- don't understand the basic concepts of how they carry on with their lives. It's a whole different world. And I'm just here to give education on how to pre- prepare for that. Because a lot of situations that happened to me through my career of playing, I was able to use those in my everyday life. I've played my this game at a high level and all it's done for me is translate to my regular life going through tough situations on the court is the same thing as going through a tough situation in life how you approach one thing is how you can handle another and being that I played in many championships I've been in so much pressurized situations and I've dealt with those same pressurized situations in life as well and it's always good to have someone that you could turn to that can give you a little bit of hope, a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation to make it to the next level because we all need someone to just push us just a little bit, you know? Just one word to change everything for us. One word to just help us make it just to be happy. That's what I, I believe that's what it is for me. I just I reached a state of gratefulness in my life that I just can't help but to share it. Like, I'm just so grateful for the things that I have in my life. And it's too, it's so easy to look at all of the negative things that can go on in your life right now. 
you know, too many. I'm dealing with a lot of situations where friends of mine and family members of mine are going through a really tough time. They're going through a really tough time and they're having a hard time trying to decipher life. And I'm my biggest, what can I say, my biggest word of advice to them is you got to just look at the bright side. You got to look at the positivity and everything. There's two sides to every coin. There has to be, if there's something that's extremely bad going on, there has to be something good on the other side. It's just your perception of what you think on that situation. And I just want us to realize the perception that you're taking as an athlete. How are you getting prepared for what's to come? As an athlete, especially a young athlete who wants to first make it to high school, out of high school to get a college you want to get a college um, scholarship. You want to go to a good school. But what are you doing to prepare for that? It starts, the, it, that's where literally where it starts. It starts from literally when you start becoming older, you start understanding things when you're in your high school years, 16, 17. You start understanding, okay, I want to play this game. Maybe I can play at the next level. You have to start preparing then. It has to be a mindset then to start the shift. It starts to change. Like when I first started playing basketball, I was not good. Freshman year didn't make. I think I didn't make the team. Sophomore year, I made the team, but I barely played. I was just. It was just one thing that stayed consistent was I just stayed inside of the gym. I stayed in the gym, and it was just like as horrible as I was, and I knew I was bad. Like I knew. <laughs> I wasn't a good player at the time, but I stuck with it just by just the sure desire to, I want to play this game. I just love this game. I want to play this game and I'm going to do everything I can to play this game for a long time, regardless of how good I am. And a lot of those situations translate for me in life because when you have the desire to do something and you really, it's a, it's the difference when you say desire to do something. Because if you really desire to do something, you're going to do everything surrounding that to push towards that desire. That's what, if I want, I wanted to be a professional basketball player. I wanted to be good. And I just worked. And even though it didn't always show up, you just have to work. You have, it's just a nonstop, constant work to try to just get better every day. And that's what I learned throughout the journey because, as I've stated before, I've won seven championships in my my first eight years. And through all of all of the championships, through all of the accolades, it's just only let me realize that the only thing that matters is the consistency in it all. The one thing that stayed consistent is my work ethic. I stayed the reps. I just stayed at it. Even through COVID, even through surgery. Um, I've went, I just stuck with it. I just stuck with it. And it just came to a point that all of the information that I have accumulated throughout the years of playing just started to come out of me. And it's like the more I win and the more I've achieved, the more I want to give that information out so someone else can grow in whatever aspect that they need in their life because all of that has taught me was how to achieve happiness in life. Not through winning the championships, but through understanding the type of mindset that you must have to enjoy a certain life, a happy life. You have to you have to uh, cultivate some type of mindset that's geared towards greatness. I can't speak to anyone who doesn't want greatness out of their life. You have to want that greatness in your life, whatever that is. Your greatness is what you focus on that you want and be great in it. We want to push to be high. 
achievers in whatever it is we're doing. You don't want to just say, oh, okay, I'm a, uh, I do nails, but I do them terrible, or I'm just a, I'm a two out of a ten in it. No, you want to be really, really good in it. You want to be really good in the things that you're doing so you can help somebody else because that's the mind, that is the mindset that you must have at all times. And that through having that mindset and understanding it takes the work, it takes work, it takes work to develop my game. It takes work to be happy because I can't just run around and live life with no, with no type of discipline to it. The most undisciplined I've been is when I was the most unhappy. And throughout my career, even though I've won, it was times where I just still wasn't happy because I wasn't disciplined. And when I put the discipline on myself, it changed my whole life. I found a new level of gratefulness in life, even after the passing of my father, it kind of just opened the door and opened my eyes and it just changed my whole way of being because I understood what it took to be happy and I found a new happiness in one of the roughest times of my life by far. My father passed away. It's probably one of the roughest times of my life. There's a lot of it. I, I go over a lot of this. So it's just a little disclaimer. I've been recording my videos on YouTube. So I have this podcast is also tied to the YouTube channel and it's Arnold's thoughts. It's on Arnold's thoughts on YouTube. It will be changed to the Arnold's thoughts podcast as well as this. Welcome guys. One more time. Thank you for joining in. So I've already started and I've have like so many videos up so y'all have to bear with me during these first few episodes because i've already been pretty much broadcasting to youtube all the videos and all of the the episodes so it's new it's this is all very new to me y'all are with me from the very beginning i'm telling y'all my mistakes i'm telling y'all that is a journey already it's the first step of the journey i started doing that route without even knowing about podcast platforms to push out the podcast, I just only knew YouTube podcasts. I wasn't even thinking about other streaming devices at the time. So this is all new. This is what I, this is the pilot. This is the first one. This is the disclaimer. So everybody know that every video that I post, at least for this first season, like the first 50 video, um, videos, the first 50 episodes is going to be catered to the YouTube. So I think it has some music in there. It has a lot of music in there that it's like it's not, it's like a mellow beat. I'm changing all that for the newer episodes, but the information, I'm not going to just like rob this platform and not upload the same ones that I have on, on the YouTube. I'm going to just put it on this platform as well. But I just hope you guys enjoy it. You know, I hope you guys come along for the ride. You know, it's a forever ride together. For we're, we're always striving to be the best versions of ourselves. So if you hear me in the video say, hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. It's because I'm talking to YouTube. And I didn't know I was supposed to be talking to everybody, so I don't need to just direct to one person. But that's okay, because we're learning. Every time we learn, we grow a little bit. We're all about growth. So... Thank you guys for joining in. Athletes, I want you guys to reach out to me. Let me know. What is it that you guys want to know? You know, the floor is open for me. I'm here to learn from you guys. I'm here to give what I've learned for to just give some kind of guidance. The biggest thing I never had growing up is somebody to guide me, some type of mentor to guide me along, especially the overseas. My expertise is in professional basketball. Like basketball overseas is what I do. If you want to know the life, I'm here to tell you the life. But I'm also here to talk about life as well. Because life, all I've learned from my entire career in basketball is how to deal with life. And you think that you're going to live one without the other, you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. 
Because you cannot just say, I'm going to have a career in playing a professional sport, playing basketball or whatever your sport, soccer, baseball. You're all an athlete and you're in another country. That experience, that world is a very different world than what most are accustomed to and what they think it is. You have to prepare yourself. It all starts with the mind. We have to develop this mindset. You know, I call it greatness mindset, legendary mindset. We're in, a, we're, we're trying to cultivate a legendary mindset because if you put it at that, put it to that standard, legendary. If you only think of being legendary, everything you do will work towards being that. So it's all the steps that you take to become legendary is what makes you legendary. It's not even being the legend itself. It's just the steps you walk towards that journey. So thank you guys. And we'll be tuning in again. We'll have weekly episodes. And I will be, I will have also interviews every Friday. We will we have interviews every Friday with um, a new player I've met throughout my journey overseas or someone in the game that can just break down what their experiences were and what they went through in order to just survive. I think people think it's all uh, it's just fun and games. You're surviving, and not a lot survives. So if you want to be able to survive, I got these guys who I interview who come on, they give you just the tools and they give you the information that you need to know that I wish I knew. I wish someone was just sitting down on YouTube or on a podcast and just telling me, hey, if you want to go, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do out of high school. This is what you need to do out of college. Because everybody has an uncle or or a brother or cousin say, oh, yeah, I know what the process is. And they tell you, but they have not lived that life. You have not lived that life. So we're here to try to teach you about what's the real life. It's not all the glitz and glamour, what you see on TV or when you see, hey, I know that guy. If you knew what you're getting yourself into would you even do it? But if you are, this is how you prepare. We're here to teach you how to prepare. And I'm here to learn from you guys. Everything we're here is one big circle. I cannot teach and I cannot express what I went through without learning from you. And it's just a full circle of us. Everybody's just going up together. We're just trying to be legendary. We're trying to have to be the best versions of ourselves. And I just thank you guys, you know, thank you for joining me today. This is the first episode. I just wanted to come to you right now and just, you know, formally introduce myself. And so we on the, we have a YouTube channel.